Hey, good morning everybody and welcome to the vlog. I hope the start of your day is absolutely incredible. Today is a day, I've been talking about it for two months. We are working on the tortoises. That's right, Matilda, we got Franklin, we got Big Mom over here. Steve is in here somewhere. We are gonna cut right here and we are gonna cut right here and this is gonna be the door. Uh, it's not gonna be super easy because again, this is, uh, this is rock. So I'm gonna have to put on a cement blade. I'm hoping it will cut through it, okay? We're definitely gonna wanna add water, not only to, so the dust isn't everywhere, but also that it cuts really good. Once we cut that, I have to actually sawzall this wall here, this wall here, then I'll actually be make kind of like a frame. I'll, I'll explain it all. I've got to put like little ball bearing wheels on the bottom, hinges, all kinds of stuff. So we've got our work cut out for us today. In my mind, this is gonna work good, but you know how that goes. We're probably gonna run into some problems here and there, but first thing to do is stick this saw blade on that can cut concrete, and hopefully it will actually work. So what do you say we just get this day started? By the end of the day, hopefully Matilda will be able to just come out on her own, and we can actually work on that target training that we've been talking about for so long with her, and then she can have free roam of the entire place every single day. How awesome will that be? So uh, let's go ahead, wish me luck, and get this day started. Guys, let's go ahead and do this. I have a feeling the tortoises aren't gonna like this one bit, but uh, I hope this saw blade works uh, and it cuts through this. If not, I'm gonna be in big trouble. That went way better than expected. Have nice clean cuts here. So now the idea is, is to take this saws off and cut all the way down here on this angle. And then you'll notice that this angle is a little bit like this, right? Because the door will swing like this. It has to set back in here. So I've got to cut that on an angle as well. And once I have that, I can take the door out and we can start to actually uh, build the kind of infrastructure and the framing work so that we can actually have a swing. So, uh, but this was the part I was the most concerned about. Let's hope the rest <laughs> works because now I'm probably thinking like, oh, well, that was the hard part. There's probably gonna be hard part somewhere else. So uh, anyway, so Matilda's like, what's up? Can I come out yet? As soon as I cut this out, she's gonna be able to walk around all she wants. <laughs> a lot harder than I expected. I thought the hard part was gonna be cutting the stone, but actually this polyurea was worse, but if I'm right, we should be able to remove this door now. Oh, now I might be wrong, but it's kinda of coming up. It's sealed just a little bit. Okay, so basically what it is is this is screwed in. I'm just gonna go ahead and kinda of break it and unscrew it. So here we go. Now the door is off, and this will be the swing, right? This will be how that door swings. So what I have to do is I have to frame up this, I have to frame this up, frame the two sides. It looks like Matilda's ready to come out. Come on, Matilda. And there you go. The door works. Look how cute, man. She loves she, it. She loves it. So if everything goes well, this door would just slide back and forth. But this, I gotta be honest with you, this door is a lot heavier than I expected it to be. So I'm gonna have to really frame it up really good. And then also make sure those ball bearings work really well. So we got our work cut out for us, but hey, this part, at least it's done and Matilda is uh, is now free. So I guess that worked. I'd like to thank the Academy. Oh wait, thank you. different different thing. This is the first time that I've ever held an Emmy. I'm with my friend Wes. Hey Wes, hey, what's going, going on? on? And uh, Wes, myself, and Noah will be so, on a podcast tonight. Wes works in TV, obviously has gotten an Emmy. He also writes comic books. Uh, you were a professional wrestler. Yep, uh, 10 years. Show 10 me years. some moves, man, show <laughs> me some moves. So, t so tonight at five o'clock, definitely tune in to Checking In. Uh, we'll talk about this Emmy, we'll talk about wrestling, we'll talk about this comic book that drops today, right? This morning it this, drops. This morning his comic book drops, so you're gonna definitely, I put a link in the description to all that type of stuff. So definitely check that out, it's gonna be a really banger of a podcast. You guys can't miss this one. Let's get in there and let's see what Baby Kush is gonna do. Believe it or not, he's actually good. He's, he's starting to come up to me more now. And, and as you can see, I've left this door open. He's getting to the point now where he kind of understands that this, this situation is going down the way it is. Let's see what happens.
next steps, guys, are that we've got wood over here. I need to frame here. I need to frame here. I need to cut a piece that's going to be actually all this here. That's why I have this tracing paper that I can put here, actually trace the lines, and then ultimately cut this board out that will go on the bottom of this. Cut this out, that out, put hinges on, roller bearing balls. I mean, all the, you know, Matilda's going to help, obviously. Oh my gosh, Matilda, don't do it. <laughs> but this is going to be great. See, she can go in and out all she wants. This is perfect. I mean, this is absolutely what I was hoping for. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I think it's going to work out, guys. I think it's going to work out. Still have some engineering to do. And, and just so you guys know, when I'm building all this stuff, I literally build this in my mind probably a hundred times before I even start. So I think I know what I'm doing, but uh, you never know. every job huge uh, huge issues that I just don't know what to do about you know I didn't realize that there were these boards in here that are attached to the panel and have bars in them I have to somehow cut this down to here but I have no idea how to do that I've broken saw blades already I uh, I don't know what to do guys I mean I'm literally this is what I was telling you guys when everyone was like oh just make the door like it's not easy it wasn't gonna be easy and here I am five, six hours into this adventure and I'm run, really, literally running out of ideas at this point. Like I don't know if I can do it. I don't know if it's possible to finish or not. And in the meantime, I've got tortoises that now can get out. So I'm in trouble here, guys. I'm not gonna lie to you. So I'm gonna do my best to keep on chipping away at it and hope to God I can figure it out. Yo guys, even on rough days, there's still good news to be had, right? So I tell you what, uh, there is this. That's right, ugly sweater merch has dropped. Ho ho drogo. That's right, even got some slots on the back and stuff like that. So uh, you guys can get your ugly sweater merch right now. Link is in the description. These will be on sale for the next few weeks. Uh, they will be there for Christmas. So if you guys want to wear an awesome uh, Christmas ugly sweater of ho ho drogo, you guys can get that right now. Again, on sale over the next few weeks. We'll ship for Christmas. And if for some reason you're like, I love the design of ho ho drogo, but I'm not really an ugly sweater type of guy. Yeah, Guess what? There's this one. There's actually shirts as well in different colors, so that way you can get the uh, cute Drogo, ho ho Drogo, without the ugly sweater if you want. But you know, it is getting cold in a lot of parts of this uh, country, you know what I mean? So guess what? There is also hoodies, that's right. So again, link in the description. Definitely go check that out if you guys want to buy a cool Christmas gift or whatever it is. So like I said, even on a day that I'm having a rough time, there's some good news. I am super psyched about the Drogo merch. Guys, I'm gonna be honest with you. I just need a break for a minute, walk around and just look at my zoo, you know. Obviously, we've got Cupcake over here and Today I just need a little bit of a break and uh, enjoy these beautiful animal. Al Machino's about to come out of shed. Pepper is down below looking amazing. Salty looks absolutely incredible. I love the fact that Sunfire stays up in the tree like that. So, you know, I need a deep breath right now. Uh, Black-headed pythons, both Snap and Pop are out right now. And it's kind of nice just to walk around. That gives me my kind of peace, right? Because, um, you know, when you get stressed out, sometimes the best thing to do is to walk away for a minute and just enjoy things. I don't even know, oh, they're, they're both in here. Okay, so we've got Ivy who doesn't have that huge lump anymore. So it's amazing how quickly she digested that huge turkey. And of course, Aries is about to come out of shed any day now. And uh, again, I'm just gonna walk around for five, 10 minutes get a little bit of breath. Maybe I'll go visit Drogo for a minute. Uh, again, just uh, try to take in uh, this beauty of these animals because uh, trust me, my 
my stress level is up here. I actually can't remember the last time I showed you guys Flaming Hot Cheeto. Of course, the Bearded Dragon. He's doing good. You know, Bearded Dragons are amazing. And I know every now and then you guys are asking me, like, can you show something about Bearded Dragons? You know, when it comes to kind of first-time pet reptiles, especially lizards, Bearded Dragons are definitely top three, right? Leopard geckos, Bearded Dragons, maybe Crested Geckos are kind of the top three. You know, of course, there's other things like gargoyles and all kinds of other stuff too, blue tongue skinks, but certainly probably one of the most popular lizards in America, at least, is the Bearded Dragon. And I just wanted to show you that Flamin' Hot still is winning hearts and <laughs> minds of all the people that come to the Reptarium. He's absolutely doing wonderful and definitely a super cool pet. I started this project at about 10 o'clock this morning. It's now uh, about nine o'clock at night, still working on it. I've got a functioning door that does open and does close. I'm gonna be totally honest with you. I'm not at all happy with the outcome of the way it just looks. I mean, it looks pretty nasty. Definitely doesn't look smooth like I expected it to be. And uh, you know, I lost a little bit of a, a spot right here that I have to fix. And, just a whole lot of things, you know, I, you know, listen guys, I'm not gonna lie to you. You know I take you guys on the emotional journeys, ups and downs of what I do. Today was a tough day for me because I felt defeated, you know, I didn't have that kind of positive flow of energy saying it's gonna be okay. Just, I, everything was getting fought, you know? I mean, I'm, I'm really happy that Matilda will be able to come out just with this kind of opening up the door and stuff like that. This isn't gonna work long term for me at all. I'm not happy with the way the product around. Probably realistically gonna rip this whole wall out and start from scratch and do it what I feel is the right way. Uh, which is a bummer because you know, I, I, I thought it was an easy fix. I knew it wasn't gonna be easy, but I didn't think it was gonna be as hard as it was and, and it definitely didn't turn out the way I wanted it to be. So listen, you know, not every day is a great day, you know, not every day is awesome for me. You know, I try to be as positive and upbeat as I can, but Today I felt pretty defeated, I'm not gonna lie to you. So uh, down in the comments, give me some encouragement because I'm gonna need it. Um, the door is kind of working, I'm gonna put a latch on it right now uh, just so that it's locked in. I'll come back tomorrow and hopefully, maybe I'll have a little bit more upbeat attitude about it. Maybe I can make some fixes to where it does work a little bit. And um, if not, we'll tear it apart and we'll redo the entire wall. I mean, that's what's gonna happen. So, okay, so I'm gonna try to put this latch on and I'll kind of show you how the whole thing is working. As uh, you can see, I've made a complete and other disaster of this place. Let's go in and check on Drogo real quick. Hey, Drogo. Where are you at? Oh, what are you doing up there, you silly monkey? What are you doing up there, silly? I don't normally see you up here. Hi, hon. How you doing today? Drogo, I need your love right now, okay? Don't some on, be good. That guy's always gonna melt my heart. I mean, you know, even no matter how stressed out I can be, uh, spending just a little time with this absolutely gorgeous animal definitely brightens my day. Okay, let's get back to work. Two thousand years later. All right, so this is as good as it gets for the moment. So we actually have a latch here, undoes. It kind of rolls over here. I can open it up to here. Matilda and the other tortoises, if they want, can come out. Uh, I'm embarrassed, guys. You know, I'm pretty good at building stuff, and this is definitely not my best work, but it is what it is, and there's nothing I can do about it. This is as good as it is gonna get. Again, I can repair this. I can put this, attach this on here, just like that, and uh, we'll clean it up. And this is just gonna have to do for the next you know, little bit, so. There you guys go. Again, I, uh, I, I'm not happy. Today was a bitch, I'm not gonna lie to you, but tomorrow will be a better day, my friends, and uh, we'll do whatever we can do, and we'll try to fix this up. I think when I get a little bit of sleep and get a little time behind me, maybe I can come in with a fresh mind and, and tackle this a little bit better, and uh, you know, like I said, I, uh, I'm not gonna hide the fact that it was a tough day for me, so the best I could possibly do, so. All right, that's it. Uh, I would say job done, but not so much done, just uh, 
giving up on it for the moment. With that said, I'm gonna go ahead and end the day, guys. Again, uh, I wanna always bring you guys along on the true journey, the ups, the downs, and stuff like that. Tomorrow will be a better day, I have no doubt about it, and I hope that you guys have a great rest of your day. Uh, send those positive vibes if you enjoyed this video. Here's a playlist I would really appreciate you guys watching some more of my videos. It helps my click-through rate. Up here, you can actually listen to our podcast channel. Subscribe to that call checking in. On this side, I certainly hope that you're subscribed to this channel. If not, hit that subscription button and turn your post notifications on. Have an absolutely wonderful day. Remember, be kind to somebody, and I promise I will see you tomorrow, and I'll be in a better mood.